there's so much to go into, uh, especially talking about how to um, overcome the barriers that have been placed, you know, in our psyches to stop us doing this. Um, I, I can give you one example of a, one barrier, um, sure. if we've still got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, imagine, um, okay, so the, the idea is that your imagination is, is more powerful than your intent. So what I mean by that is uh, imagine, imagine that I've got this plank of wood that's 10 feet long and about, uh, you know, a, a foot wide, okay? And I place that on the floor. And I told you, walk across, walk across this plank of wood without touching the floor. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do balance on that. Easily. You, yeah. could, you could easily do it. You could hop across it. You could run across it. Um, you'd, you could walk, um, you'd probably do it blindfold, yeah? Now, yeah. so what if I took that plank of wood and put it 100 foot in the air between two buildings? Right? <laughs> do you think you could do it now? No. No. No, absolutely not, because your imagination of what you think would happen will prevent you from doing it. In fact, if you try to do it, that imagination will probably cause you death, right? Because you're, you'll be focused on, what if I fall off? And then you'll fall off, yeah? So that's a good example of negative manifestation, I guess, yeah. Ex exactly, and that's when you, when you actually try and make something happen, right? Your imagination of, of what that might entail, right, is going to prevent you from making it happen. Uh, maybe we can start uh, getting people to, to uh, you know, actually use these abilities naturally. 